Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will give an example on binomial distribution. See the statement of the problem. If 10 coins are tossed simultaneously, it means that 10 coins are tossed at a time. Okay. Then find the probability of getting exactly 6 heads. If you are tossing 10 coins at a time, then what is the probability of getting exactly 6 heads? Okay, remaining four coins should show tails only. Okay, now what is the probability of getting at least seven heads? At least seven heads means you may get minimum of seven heads. You may get seven heads, otherwise eight heads, otherwise nine heads, otherwise all ten coins should show ten heads. Okay, that is the second one. See here, to solve this type of problems, we can't apply basic definition of probability nothing but classical definition of probability we can't apply probability of e is equal to m by n formula otherwise we can't apply n of e by n of s formula okay see here here what is 10 number of coins which are used in this random experiment so total number of items is given to you okay see here Given that total number of coins, you can take it as small n, it would be 10. Okay, now see here p is equal to probability of of a head. Okay, here our problem is related to number of heads. That's why we have to find out the probability of a head. It means that suppose you are tossing only a single coin. If you are tossing a single coin instead of 10 coins, then what is the probability of getting a head when we are tossing a only one coin? It would be 50% chance, nothing but 1 by 2. So what is Q? Probability of getting a tail. So it is nothing but 1 minus P, nothing but 1 minus 1 by 2. It would be 1 by 2. So, n is known, small p is known, q is also known. That's why here we are going to apply binomial distribution to get the probabilities of given two events. So, here x denotes the heads, x denotes the number of heads, number of heads. Okay, so please write the formula of binomial distribution. We know that binomial distribution of the given random variable x is of the form, is of the form, I will write here probability of x nothing but number of heads is equal to ncx p power x q power n minus x okay where x varies from 0 to 10 here for x is equal to 0 1 2 and so on 10 because you may get maximum number of heads is 10 when we are tossing only 10 coins don't forget it so replace all values what is n 10 c x what is p 1 by 2 power x into q is also 1 by 2 whole power small n is nothing but 10 again 10 minus x here we are observing that bases are equal whenever p and q are same automatically here bases will become same so 10 c x you can add the powers x minus x gets cancelled simply you have 1 by 2 whole power 10 take it equation number 1 by using this rule you can easily find out the probability of any given event okay see first one we have to find out probability of getting exactly 6 heads you have to write the symbolic form here Number of heads is represented with capital X. That's why you should represent the given probability as P of X is equal to 6. 
replace small x is equal to 6 in above formula in equation number 1. So 10 c 6 1 by 2 whole power 10. Now here to simplify this one you should use the scientific calculator. By using our scientific calculator you will get it one as 0 0.2050. Okay, if you have the scientific calculator, you can easily calculate this one, no problem. Okay, now we have to find out probability of the second event. Probability of at least 7 hits. Don't forget one important thing. Whenever you have at least term, you should write the greater than or equal to symbol. So, number of heads, number of heads is nothing but capital X, should be greater than or equal to 7. Since here x is the discrete random variable, this probability is nothing but x may 7, probability of x value may be 8, x value may be 9 and x value may be 10. Okay, so by using this first equation, we have to find out this addition. What is probability of x is equal to 7? In this equation number 1, whenever we have small x, replace it by 7. So, 10 c 7, 1 by 2 whole power 10. Okay, plus 10 c 8, now this time small x is 8. 1 by 2 whole power 10. Each and every term has 1 by 2 whole power 10 term. So, 10 c 9, 1 by 2 whole power 10, plus 10 c 10, 1 by 2 whole power 10. Okay. Again by using scientific calculator. You can easily get this one as 0 0.1718. 0 0.1718. Don't forget one important thing. In our probability. In any random experiment. If you find probability of any event. Answer should be lies between 0 and 1. Don't forget it. Probability of any event never becomes negative and probability of any event does not exceed 1. So, in this way, we can crack the problem. Very, very important thing is, in the statement, which distribution is applied is not mentioned. Here, just prob random experiment is given. You have to know why we are using binomial distribution here. Okay, don't forget that is the very very important point whenever small n is given to you nothing but number of items is given in the statement then you have to apply binomial distribution in the next video I will give some more examples on binomial distribution thank you very much.